Good morning and welcome to the Morning Spotlight. My name is Mike Ham. I'm a sales executive for Fidelity National Title Group. Today our guest is Luke Pontier, an associate in the real estate group at Day Pitney, a law firm located in Parsippany, New Jersey. I've known Luke for the last couple of years and he's been one of my great networking partners, great friend of mine. Um, I'm really happy to have him on. So Luke, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me, Mike. It's a pleasure to, to join the show this morning and to talk a little bit about uh, what I and, and Day Pitney do. Uh, looking forward to catching up and doing the show. Yeah, me too. Thanks for coming on. Uh, so tell us a little bit about Day Pitney and your practice. So as you said, I am an associate in Day Pitney's real estate and land use group out of our Parsippany, New Jersey office. Uh, Day Pitney is a full service East Coast law firm. We have more than 300 attorneys across 13 offices in Boston, Connecticut, Florida, New Jersey, New York, and Washington, D.C. Uh, the, the real estate and land use group primarily assists clients with matters including complex financing, uh, either for construction or acquisition. Uh, we help with the acquisition, disposition, and leasing process of, of all types of real estate, uh, residential, commercial, industrial. Uh, and we also help with the land use process, whether it be the, the permitting stage or all throughout the approvals process. Um, you know, and ideally all of those uh, aspects of our, our group and what we help with, uh, you know, we are able to help the client with the entire transaction from the original purchase to obtaining development approvals to if it's a commercial property, helping with the, the leasing as well uh, and the financing. So, we, you know, we try to help our clients with as much as we can. So what kind of clients do you work with? Uh, our clients range from individuals to Fortune 500 companies. Uh, I would say on the land use side is more where we have individual clients that need help with uh, their single family home if they're looking to put an addition and may require an a variance from their municipal land use board. Uh, we represent them before the board uh, in order to you know help them get the approval that they're looking for. Um, you know, in Fortune 500 companies, we we really help in in all aspects of their real estate portfolio. Uh, whether it be with the, the leasing or acquisition of, of projects uh, or, or the land use process as well. Um, you know, we have some corporate clients that are looking to expand into New Jersey. So whether it be a, a franchise or just a new corporate location, we help them get the approvals before the board. Um, but also on, on large scale multifamily residential developers, you know, we help them with, with different aspects of their practice as well. Great. So um, obviously over the last couple of months, there's been a lot of confusion, a lot of, you know, uh, concerns. So what conversations have you been having with those clients? Absolutely. So I think our main focus and, uh, and our main conversations have been centered around, you know, we're here for you. We are, we're here to help. Uh, and, you know, we view our, our clients as partners in, in business transactions. And um, so, you know, we're there in the good times and we like to celebrate the successes, but we're also there uh, in more challenging times like these to help the client navigate the waters uh, and, and come out stronger than they were before. Um, so, so a lot of our conversations are centered around that, seeing, you know, where we're able to, to provide a value add and, and help the client out with, with their current circumstances. Um, you know, many, many of our clients are uh, either on the landlord tenant side, you know, trying to work out leases uh, and, and figuring out what the best path forward is. If they're the landlord, you know, working with their tenants on creative solutions to, to continue a long standing relationship. Um, and, you know, on the residential side too, or on the, in the development area, um, a lot of our clients are somewhere in the development process where they have a pending application before a land use board. And so that those conversations focus more around risks uh, that are coming out of this, uh, both with respect to the approvals process itself um, and, you know, the, the potential hurdles that they may face as towns are holding more remote meetings instead of in-person meetings, uh, as well as post-approval and, you know, navigating this, this new normal, we'll call it, uh, and, and how you know, they can come out stronger and better position themselves uh, in the next few months and years. Great. So, so what have you been doing to best position yourself uh, to come out of this stronger? Uh, great question. So, you know, I think a lot of it, and, and you've been part of it, is, is networking. This is a perfect time 
uh, where we have some, some more downtime perhaps later in our day if, if we're not commuting to the office. Uh, and it enables us to really you know, spend that time networking, both meeting new people and also uh, strengthening existing relationships. So you know, I have tried to come on to your, your Tuesday networking sessions to, to both meet new people and, and talk with people that I've worked with in the past. Um, and you know, the, the goal there is to create these relationships now so that in, in two months when you know, work may pick back up or uh, you know, I'm the first person on their mind when it comes to, to a real estate deal or, or a land use approval. Right. Uh, so I would say that's, that's the first part. And the second part is just continuing to strengthen relationships with clients, uh, you know, piggybacking off my last answer. Uh, you know, we've, we've really focused on being partners with our clients and, you know, helping them navigate through this. And I think, you know, the, the more value that we're able to provide during this time uh, and letting the clients know that, that we're there for them and that we are, you know, working and, and trying to make sure that they get the best results um, and continuing to strengthen those relationships will also, you know, put us in a better position going forward. Absolutely. I totally agree. So for everybody watching, uh, if you want to learn more about Luke or learn more about his business, um, I'm going to put our contact information, like always, at the end of this. Um, be sure to reach out to him. Uh, also check out our Tuesday night virtual happy hours to connect with Luke and some other great people. Uh, Luke, thanks for coming on with us today. Thanks for having me, Mike. It's been a pleasure, and I look forward to seeing you next week at, at the Tuesday happy hour. Absolutely. Me too. And everybody else, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.